All right, guys. Hello and welcome. Um, I'm going to turn on the webcam. Um, you know what? I don't mind if I'm in my dressing gown. <laughs> I'm cold. Anyway, so welcome to a. Uh, let's just hang on. Let me just turn it a little bit. There we go. That's better. So hopefully you can see me. I look all right. So welcome to Outlast. Now. I've been told about this game being incredibly scary and quite, well, I don't know really, I don't know how to describe it, but I've not actually tried it before. But today, I've got the ability to try this game in VR. Oh my god, what the hell am I thinking? Anyway, I've decided to try this game out. Now, at the minute, I think this might be just a a one-off video and to see what people think, see how it looks, see how it records. Um, so, uh, yeah. So I am gonna play through this game. Now, the screen does look very big on my my, my end of things, in my face a little bit. But, uh, I've tried to adjust the settings a little bit. Uh, I've got, I think I've got it to a point where I can deal with it. A lot of full picks games, you might be, you'll be able to see the full picks down the downstairs. Down this is not obviously native VR. It's not built for VR, but uh, Vulpix is a great little um, program um, that allows you to play. A lot of games that aren't considered VR in full 3D. Uh, you can play it on like a big large screen as well if you wish. Now this obviously is a first person view game which already solves that problem. I've been trying to get Resident Evil 2 to work and I can't get it to work. So, well not properly anyway. Uh, seven is a different matter. Three is a different matter. Obviously the pole is up as well. So at the minute this is running in 60 frame, 65 frames per second. It's a 1080p, 1080p, 4K video. Um, and we're gonna see how this game goes. Um, I am really quite nervous about this. So, the game actually feels okay. Um, I can play this while sitting down, which is good. I might be lifting up my headset a little bit every now and then, just so I can see the controls if I need to. We're going to start a new game. We're going to go on normal, because I've never played this game before. Outlast contains intense violent gore and gra graphic, more sensual con sexual content, and strong lang language. Please enjoy. You're Miles Upshaw, an investigator reporter who ambition is to earn him an, an intimate tour of the hell on earth, always willing to risk digging into stories no other journalist would dare investigate. You will seek out the dark secret at the heart of the Mount, Mount Massive Asylum. Still alive, stay alive as long as you can, record everything, you are, are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of the Mount Massive and explore the truth, your only choice is to run, hide, or die. Oh my god. Oh god. Already I don't like the sound of that. Sorry, we're just going to mention your sound. Sorry, but he said, Gene, you have to blame for the lifestyle. I can say that I have heard you have heard you have heard you have heard this weekend seminar on Beulah Avenue in Pueblo. And if you're out late tonight, you may have to go to the front of the front of the front of the now I am thinking of doing Fear uh, 1, I'm going to do a few games and upload them to the channel uh, just to experience the game. Uh, I think I'll let you guys decide when you want to play, you know, if you want to do this. Now I've said that, I know it's wasn't going to play, you need to do this game. To be honest with you, I've played Alien, so I can probably do this. Um, also, I can do Alien in VR as well. Oh god, help me. Why am I suggesting it? Um, okay, I can't really read that very well because it's... No, it's really, actually, it hurts my eyes. So if you want to read that, please feel free to pause on me. I'm going to read as much as I can. Hang on, I need to take this thing off so I can see it. 
September 17th, email that at muttemail.com. Mutt um, <laughs> Gmail. <laughs> uh, you don't know me. I have to make this quick. They may be mon might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Mugoff Psychiatry Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs. All sorts of NDAs. I'm very much break breaking right now. But seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things are happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy, going too deep and finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and the muck off is making money. It needs to be exposed. Okay. So I did test this game earlier. He's actually looking a bit close, but I think it might be alright once I get out of the car. Obviously all you've got is your camera. There's uh, our press badge. Actually, you know what? I need to. I need to make. Um, excuse me. Just, oh, he's actually already small. Okay, it's fine. Okay, so you might be able to see the edge of the screen. I can't do anything. Do anything. Literally, is it's hammering in my chest. Classify the thing upside down. And it says password. Okay. So open the door. Press the mouse button. Hold down. In hell, what the fuck was that? Oh my god, did you see that? That scared the living shit out of me. Oh my god, something up there in that window just appeared. I never saw that before. And I, when I watched a video the other day of someone else playing this, I don't think they showed that off either. Oh my god, look at this place. Oh god, oh no, I can't do it. Oh, I really, I, I, I don't think I can do this. So you can see that the camera is actually nicely on the uh, body of the character. Honestly, I mean, what is the point? <clears throat> Typically, as soon as you enter, the lights go out. Thank you. 
I saw that I played to about here when I tested it a minute ago. And that scared me both times. I can hear creaking. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. <sighs> Holy shit. <sighs> that honestly scared the living crap out of me. I knew it was coming. I knew that happened because I've seen bits of this game. But when you actually experience it, it's right.
know what? I would normally do this kind of game blind, but I don't know if I want to. Because... Jermaine Why should we have to pay for it? Why do we have to die? Walker will kill us just for being sick. For some people. We didn't choose this. Let's downstairs. Alarm shot. Twenty thousand nine. Oh, wow, it's actually a moving clock. Normally, they're stationary.
That is terrifying. No, 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 no. I can't. I cannot do this game. I can't. I can't. I need to watch a playthrough. I need to prepare myself. I need to go do it not in VR because it is frightening in VR. Probably not so bad if I did it not VR, but it's frightening. Oh my god. No, 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 no. This is one game I don't think I can ever do. Oh, but I know probably a lot of you are very cruel little bastards probably will make me do this game oh god oh fucking hell that was absolutely frightening okay right that's where i'm gonna finish it that's it i am done with that i cannot do that no absolutely no way no how no -uh, uh -uh. i've got to do a much more calming game i'm gonna do some dragon Ball z legacy of goku 2 i need to calm down after that that was frightening that was intense that was terrifying oh my god all right guys thank you very much for watching that i really hope you enjoyed that first sort of experience from me oh my god this is obviously blind i don't I have no idea what i'm doing um but thank you guys for watching anyway oh god i know a lot of you guys are probably made me do this game um yeah okay <sighs> deep breath deep breath okay if people ask me to I will do it, but I probably won't do it in VR um, unless people ask me to. And unless it gets like, you know, more than five likes. Uh, so, yeah, if it does that, then I will continue this game at some point when I feel that I'm not going to play it. What's the time? Yeah, okay, I think if I play it, maybe it kind of like 10 o'clock in the morning and have the curtains open, it might be better for me because. And now, obviously, it's pitch black outside and it's dark and it's 12 o'clock at night and I'm playing this and him probably, my neighbour downstairs probably heard me yell. But 
he will probably yell at this. Oh my god, that was just frighteningly horrifying. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you very soon. Take care. Oh, by the way, this is my first video of 2021. So, Happy New Year everyone. See you soon.